Alicia would not be impressed. Hi, bud. On today's episode of How Much My Driveway's Hiding, that dirt was all the way to here. Look at that, we got a whole nother parking spot now. Jeez. Hey guys, I haven't got a video in a couple, well, yesterday I guess, but I didn't do much video yesterday. Been uh, working super hard around here, getting it cleaned up, getting a lot of stuff taken out. Got a shed built, uh, just getting scrap metal drug out, and crap tore down tore down like three sheds now still have oh boy still have two at least two left that i have to tear down and then cut up <laughs> so got scrap dudes coming in the morning gonna load up the piles that i have right now and uh anyways just kind of wanted to show you the progress it's a new shed over there it has a peaked roof but they're black shingles you can't see right now because it's dark oh blurry Anywho, got the all the fencing tore down in between that. Dang, can't zoom. All the fencing tore down in between the shop and the pump shed there. Got all Alicia's junk, her stuff, sorry, from all over here and all over here put up in her shed. Got uh, all this dug out and crushed concrete and asphalt mix. Put in here all the way to the pole. I still need to work it, add some more back in here, but I wanted to focus on that and I got a good chunk of that done, but it's supposed to pour rain here tomorrow and I wanted to get that done before that happened. We're working on chopping this dirt up, getting it tapered into the bottom of that shack so it's not just two foot off the ground, that looks ridiculous. But place is cleaning up, looking pretty dang good tractor has really been a game changer i've just been thrashing stuff with it had to put some tires on the front of it because i had ruined both of them they were old and cracked so i went tractor supply bought two new tires but yeah all this hog paneling gate panels and all that chain link and about 40 t posts was from the corner of the shop back there over here to the corner of the pump house holy crap it was terrible I'm gonna put something real simple from the corner. I'm just gonna build a little fence from there out to here with a pole and have a big gate. So I'm gonna put gravel all the way behind the shop. But check this out. Got all the outside lights functioning. Need to put something on the outside of the porch over there. A little dark. Got everything tore down around the pond. The pond is. This yard over here, other than me getting those concrete culverts out there right there, I'm not sure how I'm going to move those. You guys got any ideas, go ahead and uh, put those in the comments down there. Or send me a text message. They're heavy as hell. I have to like pull a bus over here and get a chain through them. Maybe tug on them with the bus. But there's two, three really... <coughs> Excuse me. Two or three really big ones over here and then these smaller ones but they're still half stuck in the ground and the tractor wouldn't even wiggle them oh. but anywho got to get those culverts out maybe i'll rent an excavator i don't know but i gotta knock a little bit of dirt out right here next to the shop and then clean the rest of this junk up that's here get those culverts out and then put gravel in there but i wanted the majority of it in before it poured rain because this is crushed concrete, if it's set and it pours rain in it, it's supposed to set up a little bit, which would be fantastic. Fantastic. Hey guys, it's the next day. Uh, got this old crappy paraglider trailer drug out. Found somebody that wanted it, so he yanked it out with the Toyota. The wheels and tires and lug nuts were inside the back of it, so we just stuck them on. And those two don't hold air, but they're better than sitting on the ground. These two hold air. 
So, dude's coming back in the morning. Kind of a cool trailer, but I don't want it. <laughs> Even got the key in the door. It's pretty rad. It's too narrow for a car, so I got no use for it. Wow. Kind of cold today. The shorts and flip flops was a bad call. But anyways, I'm gonna walk over here behind our new shed and show you the pro progress. Got that old crappy short carport thing chopped up and hauled out of here today. Hi guys. Kids just got off the bus. Anyways, tore all this fence and stuff out of here. Clean this up quite a bit. It's pretty soupy. Got a couple crawdads out of here earlier when I was driving back and forth. There's a gnarly ant hill right here too. That one's got too much water in it. They're not super active. But earlier they were. Yeah, I got that whole that carport thing used to be covering all this up here. Oh man, I forgot a piece of tin. Tore the trampoline out. Uh, that stupid U shed that was there, that carport thing. Got it all tore up, hauled out, except for a couple pieces of sheeting off that. They're aluminum, he wanted it in a different pile. Tore that one out today. He's gonna load that up. And the hog thing. That hog pin, we don't want that. We're trying to get rid of it as much as we can. It's too much, too much crap. We got all this fencing here, here, kind of just junk, but apparently the fencing's only worth like a dollar per 100 pounds, so they want it in a different pile. So we're going to shove it inside that trailer, and he can take all of that. It'll be perfect. It's digging all kinds of junk out. Like, what is this? Like some old pipe or drill core or something. Just in the yard back there. <sighs> Thought it was gonna rain today. It's supposed to rain tomorrow for sure. And after it dries out the next time, I'll finish scraping all that out of there and figure out how to get them col or culverts out. Well, you can see now. Last night it was dark and I was talking about it, but. Giant concrete culverts. They are heavy. There's some big ones up there, but these are half in the ground, so they're like suctioned in there too, full of water. So they're extra heavy. Okay guys, I actually got a singular project in the house done to where I can't do it anymore. Uh, the boys' room I got in. Don't ask me why the studs are pink. I heard some super racist thing from some dude down here but uh i'm gonna leave your imagination to that i thought it was pretty funny <laughs> anyways uh door mounted in both of the walls framed up door even works really well whoops I bash a dent in it already oh come on I think I make it look like an asshole. There we go. Now we get sheetrock on that. Lay flooring. The boys is, oh, I gotta hang two lights in here. I'm gonna put one there. One there, I think. I push the, there was two lights in the roof here. We're gonna have to patch that hole. But the wires came through right along here. So I push them back in, I'll run this one over here to where I want it. And then that one, or the one in the big hole, I'll run it over here to where I want it. And that will be good to go. Oh, never mind. I gotta drill this and run. I gotta pull the switch out. I gotta mount one here on the wall. So when you come in, you can flip it on. And then the other one, I gotta run through these two by fours. 
and put it in here. Bummer. Eh, whatever. Make it happen. Just another couple of hours. I gotta get outlets and boxes and Romex, so. Just figured I'd update you a little bit on that. Since this room's done, uh, the next room over, I still got a frame and hang another door. I'll show you that next. So we're gonna turn this into a pantry here. So I gotta frame this in, gonna put a door in here. I, did we get a door? Yep, door's right there. So I have everything to do that, but I gotta move that light switch. I moved the light off the ceiling, but I gotta move that light switch over. Because of course it's directly where we wanna put the wall. I gotta take that piece of trim, that piece of trim, and move that light switch. This one, I don't have to do anything. I just have to build a frame and build a wall here because we're gonna turn that into a closet for the laundry room. So you won't even know that's there. There'll just be a wall there. You come in here, this would be like Alicia's office area. Ashton's room and the boys' room. Just sign uh, wide in there. This house, is, this house is huge, tons of room. It's gonna be nice when we get it all done. See you guys later. Aha, uh -huh. check that out. Bald spot where that trailer used to be. Had to pull them out of the yard twice, but uh, that's all right. We got it. Had to drag it out with the Toyota to here, change some tires on it and then he hooked up to it. But it just poured rain this morning, so this is a little two-wheel drive truck. Had to hook onto it, give it a tug. Popped right out, drove out the rest of the way, and it's gone. And they hauled off the hog pen that was back here. Hog trap or whatever. Yeah, I gotta get back here and clean this crap up. Just too much, too much crap to clean up, guys. Anyways, right there where those poles were, on the other side there was a hog trap. I rolled it out of there to like here with the tractor and then just too swampy. I couldn't get in there anywhere. So we rolled it by hand out. Wasn't too bad. Huh? It's gone. That trailer that was over at the taco stand was supposed to be gone, but we couldn't get the hub unlocked. So they were going to tow it, but that, that tire right there won't roll. So I got to go over there and beat on it with a hammer. Maybe take the the nut off the hub and then yank the whole tire and wheel off with a truck or something, put it back on there after I knock the dirt out of it. That way they can tow it. And then I'll load all this uh, fencing and crap inside of it and then come back and hook onto it, haul it out. Be good to go. I still gotta light that pile. I should be doing that, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. I've been doing like a thousand little projects here and there. I'll check out my new Cleta shirt. Got it yesterday. Warning, right foot brake shit. And I thought that fit me pretty well, so I just ordered one up. <laughs> and it got me in the drawing for that Marauder. I wouldn't mind having that. That'd be totally fine. It'd be a nice piece for the channel, I think. Anyways, I'm not doing anything out here the rest of the day. Oh man, we cleaned out the attic. There was so much crap in there. It's gross. People left so much stuff. We got it. It's all gone. I'm gonna go inside and work on some stuff in here. I finished up the frame and the door and stuff in the boys' room. Pretty sure I filmed that. And I just got two little walls and one doorway left. And then we can call the sheetrock guys. And it's gonna go pretty fast from there. Anyways, see you guys later.